Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well and having a really great day. Yes, I am making this video because a lot of you have emailed me. I got tons of Discord messages and pings and everyone's just like, Red Panda, you got to try out this 100% LHR unlock using the nice hash quick miner excavator. And I'm going to tell you guys, I I've seen already a lot of people who've covered this and they did an amazing job. And I felt like I didn't have to make this video, but a lot of you guys wanted to give, get my perspective on this. And so, so be it. I have a lot that I want to talk about and uh, I'm, I'm also going to be doing a test. Okay. I, I'll show you guys this in a sec using uh, four different test rigs and of course using the nice hash excavator. I'll talk about this in a sec and just some other stuff, just some, you know, how potentially how nice hash got this. And uh, I've been reading Reddit and <laughs> a lot of like tinfoil hat stuff. And I, I just had to laugh. So we're going to go through some funny stuff here and uh, I'm going to give you my just overall opinion regarding using nice hash for mining and also we're going to talk about other mining software which hopefully they will hopefully release uh, as nice hash seemed to be the first mining software or platform that has gone out and was able to figure this out apparently quick pause this video is sponsored by nerdgears.com if you guys are looking for graphics cards power supplies and notoriously their special nerd gears 30 amp 240 volt metered pdu they just got them in stock and these are pretty nice. You guys have maybe seen these in my videos. They have the volt amp meters to see how much power consumption you are pulling on your 30 amp 240 volt. Pretty, pretty nice. Guys, if you're interested, use offer code REDPENPAN for 2% off. Link down below. So, you know, I'm I'm not convinced yet until I have seen a like a like a profit test versus, I don't know, the same GPUs. I know that's kind of hard to do. Uh, these days but uh, i am right now i'm personally getting set up to do this i'm doing a test on four 3070 ti's okay so let me, let me explain this first in case some people are wondering and uh, i'll talk about this uh, blog post here in a second so i did make a little short video that i am going to test four 3070 ti's on my red panda mining shorts youtube channel you guys should subscribe there if you want to see some faster videos that i do you don't have to but link down below and yeah i just explained that I'm going to have just do a refresh here and you can see I just started them all at the same time, but uh, I'm just mining all three of these to ether mine. I'm just testing out the, the, the shares and stuff and they're all relatively pretty close to each other. 340, 350, 361. And yeah, they're, these cards are pretty much the same. So what I'm wanting to do, one is going to go to ether mine. One is then going to mine to two miners to ETH to BTC. And then I'm going to have another one going to nice hash stratum. So the non-regular, uh, not using the quick miner, 100% LHR unlock. I'm just going to be, be using the latest version of T-Rex miner. And I think I, we can only get about uh, 79 to 80% LHR unlock. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then the last rig will be using the uh, nice hash uh, quick miner. Okay, so yeah. Stay tuned for that video. It's going to take a bit of time because I'm going to try to do more than 24 hours and uh, I'm going to do some breaks between 24 hours and then 48 hours and just see how much profit, right? How much Bitcoin or Ethereum. And then I'm going to compare the profit, the profits exactly at the same time amongst each other. Okay. So uh, stay tuned for that video. That's going to be fun. All right. Let's go through this whole blog post. Okay. Actually, let's not go through the blog post. You guys have probably already read it already. Uh, I just wanted to read some quick bits here. Is this nice hash miner supported? Nice hash miner. So that's the regular mining software, not the quick miner. Okay. So this is only supported in the quick miner. So if we go to, so what, when I wanted to download it, so I, I, I made a brand new nice hash account and uh, it says nice hash quick miner, nice hash miner, which is like the regular one, regular one I think most people use. And then they have the nice hash OS, which uh, I'm wondering if they're ever going to implement that into that. So that'd be nice. But and they said here, as of now, all LHR variants, except for the LHR V3, RTX 3050 and 3080 12 gigabyte are supported. So the 3050 and 3080 12 gigabyte are not supported and shows which driver here, either 472 or the latest NVIDIA drivers. OK, I've heard of some people. A, a lot of issues were that you couldn't do like absolute core clock or anything. I'm not going to show you guys doing this, but. Uh, you guys have probably seen many videos on using quick miner al already so I, I don't think i need to show you guys here but they do sh talk about it in their github here uh which is pretty interesting and a lot more a lot more stuff here but going back to the blog the main thing i wanted to show here is the expected performance at 100 percent lhr unlock so this is interesting right 
you know, normally a 3070 LHR, regular 3070, we can get like 60 to 62 mega hash. Um, I can get most of my 3070s to 62 mega hash. But uh, 3070 Ti, this one's I'm this one's uh, this one I have a lot of I have a lot of 3070 Ti's. So get about right now about 60 to 65 mega hash on each one. But this one can nice hash here can unlock it to 81 mega hash, which is quite amazing. Another big one is the 3060 LHR, 50 mega hash, uh, 3060 Ti LHR, of course, 30 uh, 60 mega hash. And uh, yeah, 3080 10 gigabyte can do 98 to 100. So that's a typical 3080 FHR. And then we got 3080 Ti at 120 mega hash. Wow, that's uh, that's amazing. But I've heard and I've seen uh, Red Fox Crypto. He did an amazing live stream that the power consumption is ridiculous. Okay, so I've heard the power consumption is not going to be not going to be nice when you're moving to do something like this. Um, so I mean that's a given, right? That's a given. I think a lot of people complain about that. Anyways, okay, so that's the blog. Now, I wanted to do just a quick comparison here. I did take note a little bit, like 12 hours ago. I took a screenshot. So Dagger Hashimoto is the ETH hash algo uh, for mining Ethereum on NiceHash. And this is the total amount of the network hash rate on NiceHash for Dagger Hashimoto for Ethereum. And it's 58.9 terahash about 12 hours ago as of recording this video. And now, as of recording, it's about... Hold on, let me refresh this algorithms uh they have now 60.47 terahash so 12 hours ago literally 12 hours ago until now they have recorded about another let's see 1.5 1.5 terahash has moved over to nice hash <laughs> in the span of 12 hours and uh, I wish I took a screenshot of when when they released it, but I, I was obviously sleeping and everyone was preparing to make this their their nice hash 100% LHR unlock video, which I, I just had to laugh. I, I'll give you guys my, more of my thoughts later in this video. But yeah, look at that. That's a lot, right? And to give another perspective of how much hash rate is on Ethereum total, it's over a petahash now. So if nice hash is about 60 terahash, that would be if we were compare it to a mining pool right now, that would be similar to between two miners and flex pool. All right, that's how big nice hash is in terms of their being their own pool, except their hash rate rental. People rent the hash rate uh, to mine to two miners or whoever, wherever one of these pools are nice hash uh, compatible. They're pretty big, but I would say doing the math, nice hash in terms of one pen of hash. And so if nice hash is about uh, 60 tera hash, that would be about, I'm gonna say 6%. Is that 6% of the total network hash rate of Ethereum? If my math serves me correct, you guys can let me know. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 pretty big, right? That's pretty decent amount of people on, on NiceHash. But again, that, that doesn't include the other algorithms that NiceHash has for mining, for people that are mining on NiceHash. Look at this, there's random X Monero, right? There's about, wow, there's 0 0.27 gigahash or 100,000 people or cpus oh my god that's a lot uh oh th these are different uh, these are singular addresses so there could be thousands of computers on one address uh, i got handshake only seven here kapow a lot of raven coin miners on here uh zell hash or flux look at that flux is on nice hash now Ooh, octopus Ooh, man is auto lycos on here too for ergo oh yeah i think it is auto lycos uh, oh yeah right here for ergo Ooh, that's that, that's uh, a lot of sell pressure, I'm going to have to say, amongst these coins, especially after Ethereum merge. I think uh, NiceHash is going to be quite the, I hate to say it, you know, centralized. Just the fundamental aspect of crypto mining is that if a lot of people move to NiceHash, imagine the sell pressure that's going to happen on all these coins and then the unprofitableness that is going to happen on these coins. I, I think, uh, you know, this is not financial advice. Everyone can do what they want. But, you know, in my opinion... I think we should start just mining these coins by themselves and uplifting these coins and not just auto selling into BTC. I think doing that is going to pretty much destroy the GPU mining ecosystem. And I get it. I get it. People either do this for a business or want to make money and, you know, they're selling every month Then so be it. But I think eventually if people, more people move to nice hash, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot, a lot more dire to those other uh, these other coins here not financial advice i'm just saying because of the potential sell pressure amongst a lot of people that are using nice hash as nice hash is going to be trading all of that 
into Bitcoin. Enough about that. I, I have a lot more to say, but how did NiceHash do this? And I, I have absolutely no idea. There's been some rumors regarding nice hash buying the lapsus you know the that, that they had there's an nvidia hack right and uh, nice hash was able to get the driver or the software or whatever the code to essentially unlock it 100 percent. now there was a flexpool tweet here uh, flexpool said some nvidia minor developers have told us that they are now near a release that will do the same uh, they know how to do it and the problem is keeping it stable long term congratulations to nice hashes excavator developers for being the first and yes, they were the first. And I was actually very surprised because, you know, developers like LOL Miner, you know, T-Rex Miner, uh, these guys have been working tirelessly on LHR Unlock. And you can see actually uh, just recently, LOL Miner just released another update here. Uh, they improved the NVIDIA LHR V2 Unlock uh, to about so 79 to 79.5 now. That's pretty cool. And about 86 to 87 on the 3060 V1. But I guess... Nice hash has already figured that out. So, but you're you have to use Windows and you have to use their QuickMiner software, which is closed source. And I, again, I'm not doing that. I think uh, I've I've expressed that. Did I express that already? I'm not sure. But I am personally not moving my mining rigs, all of my rigs, into Windows. There's no way in hell I'm gonna sit there, install Windows for 30 minutes to an hour, configure it, Windows update, whatever, all that crap, which. Sometimes Windows Update, you know, enables it itself, it enables itself again, and you know, you cancel the updates, you turn off the updates, but Windows will, uh, Microsoft will automatically like turn it back on again. It's just, ugh, it's just brutal. And then doing the security unblocking, oh my god, such a pain, it's just such a pain. I'm not going to do that. So I I'm personally going to be waiting until hopefully LOL Miner or T Rex Miner comes out with the 100% unlock, which I'm sure if they are able to reverse engineer this uh lhr or nice hash quick miner unlock i don't know if they can and i don't know if they nice hash has some sort of like i don't know like a signed driver nvidia driver thing inside their uh, excavator software i'm not quite sure how it provides the unlock which is quite interesting uh so if that ever comes out that uh, the other miners uh, developers can do that then that would be awesome right then all of us that are on hive os can stick with it and you know that's yeah and i feel like the time wasted to moving to windows and potential restarts and instability actually that's what i've been reading on the nice hash subreddit here a lot of people have been having some issues lhr quick miner is is not that great on having multiple gpus like more than three or six or something and people said the 100 percent lhr unlock is it's pretty unstable I'm not saying that everyone's going to have that issue but you know of course you're doing this in windows and windows is notorious for instability and uh yeah i'm ultimately i'm just gonna wait for someone in the mining community developer lol miner t-rex miner whoever uh mini z i don't know uh oh team red miner by the way they did an update recently regarding 5700s and 5700 xts called the, this new r mode so I'm going to be trying that on my 5700 soon. I'll have a video about that. So stay tuned for that. I was just reading a bunch of subreddit stuff and I'm sure you guys have as well. A lot of people saying if nice hash is hundred percent LHR unlock is a hoax. And you know, there's been a lot of claims out there. I have no idea. So that is why I am going to be doing this, this, this test essentially. And uh, so, like I said, one's going to go to two miners BTC. Uh, ETH to BTC and another one's going to go to Ethermine and another one's going to go to the nice hash stratum uh, not using the LHR unlock and then uh, the last one will be using the uh, quick miner in Windows I have to install quick I have to install Windows on the test rig 04 which is oh yeah I haven't done that yet but I, uh, stay tuned guys I'm, I'm gonna make that video I've already confirmed my three here and so I just got to get Windows installed and then I'm gonna do that video in the next couple days here and get that info for you guys of how much uh, profits essentially is going to be more on either yeah so stay tuned for that that's going to be that's going to be fun and uh yeah nice hash did have an issue with rig manager going down but that was short-lived i believe and they ultimately got that back up so here due to a massive influx of traffic from our 100 percent lhr unlock release which is i mean yeah that, that was a given right a lot, about one almost probably two terahash by the time you guys watch this video if you go to their algorithm site you'll see that their uh their hash rate has gone up one thing I, I just, this is not financial advice at all. Um, and I wanted to just express 
whether or not people cared that and this has already happened already it's already in the past and but in the past history here in the bat in the past bear market since 2018 if anyone's been following the bitcoin dominance chart and if you're using nice hash this matters a lot so for example you know during the bear market here the lowest point in time here the bitcoin dominance was really high so bitcoin had a lot more value versus let's say ethereum and so during the bear market you could trade like i think it was like 30 to 40 to 50 ethereum at one point into one bitcoin and here we are today in the past year ethereum you could trade about i think around it was around 14 to 13 ethereum right now into one bitcoin so there's an opportunity cost here if, if you can if you can see what i'm talking about i, I don't think I'm, i may not have to explain any more here but if you were mining Ethereum into BTC throughout the whole bear market, you would have definitely lost out because you can see that the Bitcoin dominance here started going down. So imagine if you were mining Ethereum instead straight, plus you were you were yielding a lot more Ethereum during these times. And if you hodled that all the way up until now, you can see the dominance here. Ethereum dominance has gone up and then Bitcoin dominance has gone down. Your Ethereum that you mine throughout the bear market is worth a lot more than the Bitcoin that you were mining into BTC at that time. So you essentially, if you were mining on nice hash during these times, the value that you garnered during these times into BTC is worth a lot less versus if you were to mine Ethereum by itself directly up until now. Now, um, now this is only comparing it to the last bear market here of uh, 2018. Of course, if you are mining into BTC, back in the very peak of 20k bitcoin yes i think it was like four to one like four seven ethereum to one btc you would have been get, you would have been garnering a lot of btc then but then it drastically went down the dominance went back up for bitcoin pretty fast and then ultimately uh, if you were mining into nice hash the past i don't know uh the past two years you technically would have would have done less you you would have done worse when you could have been mining ethereum and then hodling it up until now would have been worth a lot more in in, in that sense if you can understand this bitcoin dominance chart all right guys that's it that's all i want to talk about uh, i'm not persuading anyone to not use nice hash okay nice hash if you want to use it at your own discretion so be it i think they a lot of people said they have good tax reports a lot of people say that's really good for tax season so it's pretty easy that way low payout threshold frequent payouts every four hours bitcoin payouts of course yeah i mean if you're all in it for BTC, I get it. I get it. I think I mentioned earlier in the video that I am I'm pretty wary of a lot of people moving to nice hash after the Ethereum merge because of the other coins that are out there um, after Ethereum. And it's it, it may be potentially detrimental, but hopefully uh, we'll see what happens anyway when, when that time comes. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts and let me know if you guys are mining to nice hash or not and give me your reasons and uh, maybe put a hashtag of Red Panda. If you guys watch till the end, let me know. Peace out.